Today we're pairing seven of the hottest OnlyFans models with eight of the grossest Barstool bloggers to compete in a beauty pageant. At the end of this, we will crown our winner of the inaugural Glenny Balls Only Stands pageant. Let's meet our contestants. Our first contestant is a wonderful girl, Ara. She's been on Only Stands before. She is a former uh, scientist and she actually knows how to deep throat a pepperoni stick. Get hyped, gang! Okay, next up we have another former Only Stand guest. Her name is Meg Nutt. She was born on Valentine's Day. A little fun fact for you out there. Here she comes. Woo! Next up we have our first contestant with colored hair. She has blue hair. Her name is Sofia Gomez and she is a former mermaid. Next up we have uh, Candy Osmus with one of the more wild uh, facts I've heard of the day. She is a professional welder. <laughs> Next up, we have uh, Christina Santa. She actually only brushes her teeth with coconut oil, I was told. And second to last, we have a wonderful woman named Grace, who also goes by Fleshlight9000 on that website we all know and love. She's also a stand-up comedian, folks. And finally, we have a wonderful woman named Woe Vicky. Her found fact is she loves Jesus. Woe Vicky, come on out. Okay, now we have the Barstool talent come in here to be drafted by the beautiful queens. First up, we have the guy who made Zillion Beers. He does beers, Dana Beers. <laughs> Next up, we have the host of the Smoke Show, the most eligible bachelor in New York City, Tommy Smokes. <laughs> Here's a smoke's head. Now he is the panty dropper. And now we're our third contestant. You know what they say, third time's the charm. We have Dukes coming in here, Dukes. <laughs> My MVP right there. <laughs> And next up, we have a former Barstool New York presidential candidate in uh, Meek Phil. <laughs> next up, John Rich. All right. John Rich. Bibbs coming up here, Bibbs. Former, former team captain champion of Barstool vs. America season one. And then I would say we have, I would venture to guess the oldest contestant in the competition, Chris Clemmer. <laughs> And finally, the one, the only, the losing recipient of Fan of the Year at the Barstool Awards, Frank the Tank. Oh, hey. That's so yes, yeah. Frank! Yes, right. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the draft portion of this. There's more men than women, as you can see here. There's seven girls and I believe eight guys. So one dude may not be picked. We're gonna get into the draft thing right now. Hmm, which one of you feels the most deserving right now? Raise your hand. See, that's right. So at least they're self-aware. <laughs> Yo, Candy. Um, Love that. I think um, you with the chain. John Rich, first overall pick. Okay. John Rich. Who would you say is the most athletic out of all of you? Okay. I'm gonna go with you. Dana. Dana. No beers. Oh, right. Ryan Leaf. Vicky, you're up. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, how's it going? Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. Oh. Man, I was a part of those OnlyFans. I'm an OnlyFans girl too. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. I'm shaking my top top. <laughs> Alrighty, um, let's next up. Let's go with Grace. Wait, wait, wait. Give me the mic. Y'all forgot about me. Y'all forgot about me. I'm the OnlyFans girl too, and I'm here to pick. Let's go. What you talking about? What you mean? I'm here to pick. Why they get to pick people? I want to pick. No, I'm my own team. But, <laughs> all right. I want Vibs. Vibs, I know you're nasty. Yes. Nice, nice. Ebony, Ebony. 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 Hmm. What, what are your measurements? I wear a 33 like, length and like a 31 waist. And that's probably with the heavy belt. Are you all natural? I'm all natty. I'm all, yeah. Um, all natty. Hmm. I think I want you. Oh, oh, how could I forget? What's your guys' biggest red flags? <laughs> okay, well, I'm born on Valentine's Day, so maybe, maybe I could. Oh, Riz. What about you? Uh, I can't read a book, but I can read the room. Ooh, that's I can't think of any red flags off the top of my head, so that's my red flag. Yeah, that's a red flag. Okay, you. Wow. Let's go. Do either of you like Taylor Swift? Love her. Really? I actually see you on my TikTok page all the time. 
I love your cosplays. <laughs> I can't compete with that. <laughs> What's your favorite anime? Hunter x Hunter. Okay, so here's where the concern is. Mm -hmm. It's pronounced Hunter Hunter, so I worry that you're not a real anime fan no, and you just I, like my content. I do watch it, but <laughs> I've also been watching Pokemon, like the first in the series. <laughs> Awkward. I wish you guys had a heart monitor on me. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, yeah. what, is it bad if I start crying? All right, dude, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Okay, so who can shotgun a beer? You can't? Okay, come on, let's go. You're mine. <laughs> Alrighty, so the team's doing the picks. We will now get into the, they're gonna go to their strategy rooms and pick a talent to do together, and then they're gonna do the evening wear, and then we're gonna do some questions. So let's get into it. What if we both got it? There's a lot being thrown around right now. Gotta grab the talent. I mean, early favorites gotta be Woe, Vicky, and Frank. This, this yep. Sophia and Nick Phil pairing is terrifying. I don't know where they are. Yeah. I said someone, uh, open door policy. Yep. They should not be allowed behind a closed door. Let's go. I'm gonna deep throw this pepperoni stick while he's shotgun. Yeah, I'm not gonna deep throw this pepperoni stick. I'm gonna I'll deep throw your pepperoni stick. Okay, we are now going to begin the talent portion of the pageant. First up, we have uh, Vibs and Ebony. Uh, Ebony and I will be doing a sort of impromptu jazz routine. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. That's it. That's all we got. Very nice. Good work. Girl Candy here. She's going to hit us with some accents. You ready? I think so, yeah. Australia. So like Dan in the Dan Under or like in the bush, you know? Like you can come from lots of parts of Australia. Great Actually, Britain. Great Britain. Like what part? Like like Lower East Side or like? So Southern. Oh, all right. So like a bit more like posh, yeah? Do Harley Quinn. <laughs> Are you going to say please or no? Southern. I mean, look, I can cook y'all up a nice, real warm apple pie or make you sweet tea. I mean, I doubt by the lookings of you, you ever had. Esvenite, ve ponimate poruski? Do Harley Quinn one more time. See, it's the fact that you don't say please that really bothers me. There you go. All right, judges. What's the coolest thing anyone can do at any given time? I don't know, Dana. Yug you can tell us. Tell us. Let's beers. go. Oh, that is very cool. It's pretty cool. Hold my right? mic. <laughs> okay. With an OnlyFans girl pouring them down your throat. Okay. Oh. Here we go. Beyonce. Oh, okay. oh, oh, oh here we go. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, Dana, yes. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Woo. Oh, shit, oh, fuck. Oh, God. You done hurt her. Those Olympics don't work. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, you didn't even know, bro. Dana, Jesus. Wow, we are such large people. Imagine if we could fit our entire bodies into these small bins. That would be so crazy and impressive, right? Well, here we have some contortionism for you. Let's go. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Get in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how do they do it? How do they get in oh, there? Oh. How do they get in there? Oh. <laughs> Amazing. That was really good. That was so good. I'm from Canada, and in Canada, we love to shotgun beers, and we love pepperoni sticks. Also, you know, one of my talents is deep throating pepperoni sticks. So, nice. oh, nice. oh, Multi-talented? Multi-talented, yeah. Multi-talented. We are going to do our best impressions. Yeah. Yep. Yay. Okay. 
I'll start with my Bugs Bunny. What's up, Doc? I am going to do my best impression. Yes. So you want to help me out with these, right? I'm sure some of you have seen a little show with a doctor who is evil and a bunch of kids running around doing shit over the summer. He usually says something about a platypus, and then he does, you know, this thing, and then he goes. A platypus? You didn't do, you didn't do it. Oh, oh. <laughs> What's his name? Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a video on Facebook? It's not on you, Sophia. It's not on you. No, we, we recognize that. <laughs> Can you hear it from here? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice! That's amazing. That was that's good. That's <laughs> good. Oh, to cap it off, aren't you a mermaid? We are the condensation! <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. That's my podcast. Exactly. Exactly. With exactly. only a reference. We would have yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Great work. I think that was the judges' favorite so far. I you guys can't very imagine much a lot of that. the men have watched no. this too yeah. long. No, definitely <laughs> not. Do we tell them or do we just do it? Just do it. Okay. You're, you're up. Okay. 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 Yo, leave my house in Jersey, heading for the city. Transportation always city, gonna take the rail. New Jersey transit always fails. Head up to the street, better be watching your feet. Gonna step in feces, gonna go out to city. Watch the Mets play, all the Mets know my name, and they hate me. Just big people in vocal fat, oh, I wish I had a heart attack. Because I call them people. God, God, this team is terrible. Everything is trash, everything is everywhere. New York, New York, gonna go to A. And New York! Fabulous. Frank, I do have to ask you. Frank, come over here for a sec. Did you, did you write that in the 10 minutes that we talked about that? I wrote it within the first two minutes. You're a fucking animal. What an icon. All right, now our last contestants to finish it up. You got to follow that. I'm sorry. We got uh, Tommy and Meg Nutt coming up here. We'll be doing a little bit of a music medley mashup. Um, do not fuck this up for me. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, baby, can't you see? I'm calling. A guy like you should wear a warning. I'm dangerous. I'm falling. Because <laughs> we're soaring. The middle part. Flying. Flying. There's, There's not, not a star, star in heaven, heaven that we can't reach. Yeah, yeah we're so flying. Yeah, yeah we're, we're breaking free. free. Okay, and then last up, a uh, part of the medley. Because uh, she, she wears short skirts. He wears t-shirts. I'm cheer captain. And I'm on the bleachers. And then we didn't have an ending lyric. You belong with me. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, judges. We just finished the talent portion of the uh, event. Thought that was very fun. Who do you guys think are the front runners after that? Who's maybe the low runners? Vice versa. Well, uh, low runners. I think that a few people relied heavily on their OnlyFans girl. I saw some people exhibiting yeah. no talent whatsoever. Yeah, Meek Phil really, really fucked Meek up Phil on his did end. Nothing but Sophia was amazing. You Sophia guys loved her. Sophia was amazing, and that is unfortunate. And as well, I hate to say it, Same but uh, Candy, Candy and John Rich. John Rich, I, John Rich John did John absolutely nothing. nothing. I feel bad because Meek really did fuck up, and I thought Sophia was great. She had a beautiful yeah. voice. She was great, and I feel beautiful bad for voice. that situation. And Meek Phil is a cancer. Okay, that's fine. Oh, is she okay? Oh, okay, that's fine. Perfect. She was, she was like front runner. I thought, you know, she was, she was, did so well. Oh, maybe, so. I'll, maybe I'll leak that to her. Yeah, no, tell her that. She's, she's crushing. Competition yeah. just blew wide yeah. open if yeah. she's gone. That's oh, actually crazy. Girl! Picture. Picture. Cheers! Cheers! Get! <laughs> you just got risked. <laughs> hey, as long as, as, long as she's staying. She's staying. She's staying. We're back. All right, we're, we're back in business. business. We're, we're back, back in business. In. We're back in. Uh, Vicky, thank you for staying. Yeah. Going well. <laughs> thrilled. We're thrilled about it. Appreciate it, Vix. It was a good talent show. And now we're going to the next portion, the um, evening wear. Let's see what they wear. Let's see if maybe we'll get some cleavage. Maybe we're probably going to get some cleavage here. That's probably be the fun part of the day. So let's get into it. First up, we have Dukes and Aura. 
Great work, Dukes. Great work, Dukes. Dukes and R. Dukes and R. Next up, we have Tommy and Meg. Ooh. Tommy oh, coming in looking like a, one of his um, sports advisors fits going on. Meg looks very spacey. Next up, we have our newest entrance, Ebony and Vibs. Ebony is a late entry, so she did not change. She's just wearing, rocking her, their fit to work today. Vibs has a red blazer on. It is a NFL sh NFL draft show. Uh, barbecue hat. I enjoy that. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he smacked some ass. That's Vibs got the most action here today Absolutely. so far. And um, that was inside of her asshole. That was that was I'm shocking. Sorry. But um, <laughs> next up, we got uh, Sophia and Meek Phil. Sophia coming in here beautifully with her blue hair, dressed to match, Meek wearing a nice button-down shirt. They're not walking together. Meek has been fucking up this whole time. That wasn't awkward at all. Next up, we have John Rich and Candy. John, look, John, John, wait for your partner, but you look absolutely gorgeous. Come some sort of Western Southern fit going on. There we go, beautiful. You look, yes, Yellowstone Gone Wild by John Rich. Candy's got a beautiful kind of like a Wednesday Adams type of thing going on. Next up, we have uh, the beer guy and Christina. Oh, look at this. Data Beer is bringing back a Storm Chasers fit. Christina has some sort of uh, exoskeleton tight dress on. Right. Oh, fuck! Oh, 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 no. <laughs> that just broke. <laughs> I mean, you can't. Don't worry about Christina. <laughs> Beers' his pants are broken. He had to have known that was gonna happen. That is, uh... Oh, Jesus! Oh my God! Why are you jumping with you? Up! They're not doing much, but they keep getting extra points yeah. for me just because it's so bad. So insane. Like, it's like, there's a fuck up every it's time so that I'm like, you get more points. Next up, we have Fleshlight 9000, AKA Grace and Clemmer. Very formal wear from Clemmer. He looks like he's going to a wedding or one of his former jobs. He looks beautiful. And Grace Ooh. is wearing an absolutely fantastic, whatever very tight dress that says, no do whatever you want, yeah, no one girl. gives a fuck. Like you, who are you too. trying to impress? Some words of wisdom there from Grace. Oh, he's oh, 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 has it on as well. Clever has his dark version on as well. Let's go, Look at this. Wow. These two have great, great chemistry. Oh, wow. Who the fuck <laughs> are you trying to impress? I love that. fucking 10. And finally, we have uh, Whoa, Vicky and Frank the Tank walking down. Frank is wearing his, one of his finest Met shirts. There's minimal oh, stains on it. Vicky is here as well. They didn't change, but they still look amazing. Okay, beautiful. All right, so that was the um, fashion portion of this event. We will now be getting into the question area, and that will be hosted by our good friend Francis. You can now take the mic. Hi. All right, my first question is for uh, Frank and for Vicky. Vicky, this is uh, directed at you. Ever since Steve Cohen purchased the New York Mets, uh, he's done... Well, my question is, has he done a good job of utilizing his money for the team or a great job? He has done, he would have been better off lighting a bonfire and throwing all the money in the bonfire because every player he got sucks. The general manager sucks, moron, idiot, feeble. Nothing has changed. In fact, they were better off with Wilpon. I was really hoping she would take that one, Frank. Um, do you like the Mets? Um, I want to go to a game. Frank, could you organize that for her? Possibly do that, yes. Wow. Ooh. All right. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Oh, wait. One, one more question. One more question. Um, Frank, if you could get Vicky to join you for an episode of Tank Cooks, what would you cook for her? You know what I think I would make? A nice air fryer prime rib. Wow. Ooh. Good. Well, I hope you like salt, because some of it's, <laughs> it, he's a little heavy with the salt. But thank you, guys. Good luck. Accent. Wakes up food flavors. Sure. Accent. Um, Aura, I know that there is a thing where OnlyFans models sometimes hire another person to do their fan correspondence for them. Would you trust him to speak to some of your male fans in a seductive and salacious way? Uh, could you do like a little like J-O-I sex thing improv right now for us? <laughs> uh, Pretend, me, dude, what does J-O-I me. mean? Oh, don't act like you don't know. <laughs> I did not know what J-O-I was. Please. Just, just imagine, Liar. why don't we do this? Why don't we say that I'm a fan and I think I'm talking to Aura? 
and you are corresponding on her behalf. All right, perfect. Uh, hey, babe, I loved your post today. What's 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 going on? You like what you see? You're gonna have to pay ten more dollars to get more. Wow, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Um, but I just thought we could get to know each other. What are you wearing? I'm wearing uh, an orange dress. <laughs> <laughs> And you're gonna have to pay five dollars to see more. Uh, thank you guys. Bad, yeah, bad, that's bad. Ara and Dukes. Grace, what is your proudest accomplishment? Um, <laughs> my proudest accomplishment would probably be making it past 27 years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Yes, girl. I like that. Woo! Uh, surviving? Yeah. Sure. Um, in a in a vacuum, in a different world where Clemmer were available, would you date him? Um, I I have to say, no. <laughs> Big Phil and Sophia. Yeah. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right, well let's just get right into it, Sophia. Um, what are your impressions of this guy, and how uncomfortable is he making you? Well, you know, usually there's a good way to gauge if um, someone watches my content because they enjoy anime or something else um, that exists. It's to see what their knowledge of anime is. Mm. And I asked him what his favorite anime was, and not only could he not think of one off the top of his head, which most anime fans can do, but he proceeded to say Hunter x Hunter. No, I remember, this was moments ago. Which was... <laughs> That's not how you pronounce it. Right. So not being able to pronounce your favorite anime is a little sus. Very sus. It's an interesting thing to look at someone and think they might have blown a load to your boobs. Oh. So. <laughs> you filthy pig. Let's ask me. No, it was not. I caught you off guard. You're always on my timeline with your cosplay TikToks. Am I saying that word right? Because my I, accent's not great. I don't know. Name one cosplay I've done. Misty. <laughs> From Pokemon? I've never done that. What's the one that was on your pinned Instagram? Did I just mess oh, this up? I'm just gonna pull it up. Phil. Go ahead, pull oh, it up, no. Phil. Phil. What's this? That's Nami. Oh no! I you thought that was on? Misty. Is this bad? Anime fans. He doesn't know who Nami from One Piece is. That's that, embarrassing. That's Even I know that's fucking sense. Well, thank you guys so much. I'm sorry uh, that you've been paired with me. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's too bad. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, yeah. you guys have been getting along pretty well. I'm fucking sweating, dude. I am too. That's surprising, considering you vented your genitals. <laughs> just disgust. I'm just <laughs> so. I'm much. a gross fucking person. Yeah. All right, uh, Christina, what pr portion of your OnlyFans earnings do you donate to charity? Um, you know what, I actually, I don't so much donate to organizations, but I do actually get a lot of food and stuff that like when I'm in Miami, I'll give out to people when I see them on the streets. That's lovely. More of a grassroots approach. A lot yeah. of people will say that that's much more effective, so good for you, yeah. Yeah. Great yeah. answer. Tried to get you. Um, <laughs> okay, I Christina, Fiji water I have a, a follow-up question for you. Um, You've met Dana, you've known him for a few minutes now. If you were to run into him on the streets of Miami and you had a whole truckload of food, how would mm -hmm. you prevent him from eating it all? <laughs> Good question. Man, um, I don't know that I could. <laughs> no, that's exactly right. Candy, what advice do you have to a young girl who wants to grow up and be an OnlyFans model like you? I've never heard of OnlyFans. What is that? Give a good answer? I'm Me just... either. I think you should stay in school. Wow. <laughs> Solid. Yeah. I got a good question that I think you're going to like. And the two of you can kind of take this one together. So let's presume, uh, again, in an imaginary world that you guys are uh, married or dating and you're living together. Not hard to imagine. Yeah. And you're asleep in, in the bedroom and you hear a strange noise downstairs. Which of you two is going to investigate the, the home invader? <laughs> Me. I'd say, baby, go back to bed. I got this. <laughs> well, I like that, but I will say, Vibs, no disrespect. If I'm a home invader, I'm a lot less intimidated if I see you coming down those stairs. I would shoot you. I would immediately shoot you. I guess that'll work. All right, appreciate you guys. Good luck. So, 
Tommy, what would it mean if you and Meg were to win this uh, lovely Glenny Balls inaugural OnlyFans pageant? Um, first of all, let's give it up for our three gorgeous judges over there. Three of my favorite girls at Barstool. Three of my favorite girls at Barstool. You guys are killing it today. Um, it'd mean the world to me. Uh, you know, I've been working here for seven years now, and I've won just competition after competition, but I would truly put this at the top of the list of most important ones uh, because it'd be a team effort. And, you know, I've won a lot of solo things, but to win something in a tandem, my God, that'd be special. Cool. Nice. All right, Meg, question for you, follow up. Um, if you weren't doing what it is that you do professionally, what else might you do for a living? I was, I had a full ride to FIU and I was going to be a lawyer and do entertainment contracts. But now I do OnlyFans, I produce movies, music, all cool. the above. Yeah. Hey, yo, girl boss. Thank you. All right, that's the question portion. Uh, appreciate you all. Thank you very much, Francis. Those are wonderful, thought-out questions. I enjoyed it very much, thoroughly. We will now get into the final judging moments. We'll have the judges deliberate. All the results are in. Our judges did a wonderful job tallying up the scores that they made here. Thank you all for coming to New York City for this beautiful event. We had a great time. Fantastic time. First team that made the cut for the top three. After that wonderful rap, we obviously have to go with Vicky and Frank. Vicky and Frank. <laughs> And then another team making the top three, we have the wonderful Meg and Tommy. And the uh, final team in the top three here is Clemmer and Grace. The rest of you guys sadly have been eliminated. Thank you guys for coming once again. But we do have one more award to give out. We added an extra award. It's going to be called the Tied Down Award. Who performed the best with a really, really shitty partner? And they were just tied down with a lot of adversity. And the winner of that is going to be Sofia Gomez. Woo! The guys who recognize you had. Sorry about that. Stand right here. A wonderful prize for you. Congratulations. How does it feel to be the winner of the first ever Tied Down Award? You were fantastic. Your partner, not so much. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. Congratulations. Yeah. You're a superstar, Sophia. Oh. Also, shout out Megan. That's my homie. She did amazing and she's the best. And we go way back. Can I just uh, get some comment on how your partner did today in the, uh, in the pageant? He tried. That's nice. That's, That's sweet. That's nice. sweet. That's sweet. That's sweet. That's sweet. Award. Yep. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Alrighty, we are now coming to reveal who's getting eliminated first. We're going to go from a top three to a top two here. Second runner up team, we're going to eliminate right now. Megan Tommy. Smoke's nut. <laughs> Smoke nut. Thank you. We once again have Vicky and Frank and Clemmer and Grace. So the winner of the first Only Stands pageant is Grace and Clemmer. <laughs> the box was too good. Congratulations. Yes, give him a spin. Do whatever you want. That's right. Uh, Let me talk to my runners up here quickly. So, um, Vicky and Frank, how do you think you guys did in the whole event? I know there's eight teams. You finished second. That's a pretty good, pretty good finish. You got runner up. So, any thoughts on the whole competition as a whole? Well, you know, when there's a scan if there's ever a scandal, they could get shipped to the crown and go right there. That's true. It could be like, right, yeah, kind of like Heisman voting. But, um, Vicky, what was the highlight of your day so far today? Um, thank you for having me. Yes. That was a great highlight. I, I, I'm, yes. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming. I'm just happy you're here. And um, yeah, those are our first ever Only Stands pageant runner-ups. Whoa, Vicky and Frank the Tank. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for coming again. And finally, we have the winners over here. We have Chris Clemmer and Grace slash Fleshlight 9000. You guys are absolutely unbelievable. This was magical the second she said we, we got off to talk about talent. And what did you say right when we got off stage? I said, uh, are you up for some contortionism? My eyes lit up, and the rest is history. Congratulations. Any, any last words, Grace, before we cut this off? I'm so happy to be the winner, and I would have never been able to do it without my beautiful partner here. And I know a big thing that helped us win was us getting into a box, but make sure, at the same time, you never put me in a box, because 
I'm very versatile. Nobody puts baby in the yes. corner, nobody puts Grace in the box. Then. So once again, the winners of the first ever Only Stands pageant, Fleshlight 9000 at Clemmer. Thank you guys. Thank you all for coming. This is a wonderful event, and I appreciate everybody. So thank you all for tuning in. At the end of the day, we are all three, you know, hopeless romantics. Yes. And it really, Clemmer and Grace felt like they had a genuine connection. Yeah. And yeah. That, that, that got them to the end. I know that they weren't selling me a love story, but that's what I bought. Yeah, and, I, and I'm loving it. The so. teamwork, the, the teamwork, teamwork was there. The which, support you know, for yes. each other, they genuinely yes. supported one exactly. another. I loved it, I exactly. loved it. Excellent, I'm happy with our choices. Yep, well done everybody. Mm -hmm. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, the, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Inaugural, 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 inaugural. I can't say it. Inaugural, inaugural.